Okay, the incompressible continuity equation has this form, di u di x plus di v di y plus di w di z is equal to zero. It's a conservation of mass equation. That's in three dimensions. We can put it in two dimensions as just di u di x plus di v di y equals zero. And let's have a look at what that means if we're looking at an Eulerian control volume in two dimensions, x and y. If we look at the u velocity, the velocity in the x direction, there's stuff coming in this side, going out that side. It's coming in faster on this side than it's going out on that side. That means that the stuff that comes in the bottom with the v velocity in the y direction, the v velocity must speed up if the mass is going to balance. That's assuming the density is constant, so the mass in the control volume has to be constant. If density isn't constant, this gets a little more complicated. So u in plus v in must be equal to u out plus v out. And we're going to work with a square volume with delta x equal to delta y. We'll get the same result even if we made it a really strangely shaped control volume. So rearranging u out minus u in plus v out minus v in must be equal to zero. The difference between the two u values divided by delta x plus the difference between the two v values divided by delta x must be equal to zero divided by delta x. We've just divided the whole equation by delta x. But with it being square, delta x is equal to delta y, so delta u over delta x plus delta v over delta y equals zero. Or di u di x plus di v di y must equal zero. That means that if the flow is slowing down in the x direction, if di u di x is negative, then the flow has to be speeding up in the y direction. Di v di y has to be positive in order for there to be a mass balance for mass to be conserved. So if less goes in the right side than came in the left side, goes out the right side than came in the left side, then more has to go out the top than went in the bottom. That just makes sense.